how to paint to pring. Now I've painted to pring several times during my life and uh, the first time it was about 47 years ago and here is a reprise and this is a very simple uh, painting technique which I'm glad to share with you. I used uh, an 8x10 canvas board and I pre-painted it with acrylics latex paint and the color on that was uh, Sahara Desert Sand and that's what I use for the base in this painting and it's also for the facial tone. And the other colors that I used were uh, Daler Rowney uh, acrylics, uh, white which was number 11, scarlet which is number 567, primary yellow which is 675, and ultramarine blue 123 and I don't use a palette I just use paper bowls and paper plates and a lot of my color mixing happens on the canvas itself this is uh, a method that I've been developing for a while so you see I made my own black I didn't use uh, a black tube of paint for that uh, but in certain areas rather than use black I, I used blue I find that it all mixes well together I like strong colors I definitely like the scarlet red I'm not one of those people who prefer um, pastels and what I'm doing here is I'm sketching out the character of Tepring. Now Tepring was played by Arlene Martel and every time I painted Tepring, whether it was a successful painting or not such a successful painting of her or a sketch, somebody always asked me, oh are you painting a Chinese lady? Well, uh, no, I said, I'm painting a Vulcan woman. Um, but of course there's no such thing as a Vulcan woman. It does seem as though Tepring had some facial features that made you think that she was East Asian, but in fact I looked up Arlene Martel recently and I wanted to know about her background and it turned out that she was born in the United States in the Bronx um, that her parents were uh, Austrian Jews who emigrated uh, to the United States so there's no indication that she actually had East Asian uh, ancestors I mean she probably had some Mediterranean ancestors um, probably of the Ashkenazi variety but um, she was such a good actress that they say that she was able to take on many different roles and to disguise herself and to look like many different ethnicities. So here I'm not painting Arlene Martel by any means, I'm painting to bring. And uh, she was able to uh, disguise her facial characteristics. So for those people who say, you know, you need to know the exact cranial shape of the person that you are uh, painting, that's not necessarily correct. You're painting how that person appears to you. And a lot of women use makeup in order to change the appearance of their bone structure. Of course, I always wanted to assume that Tepring was not wearing makeup and that this was naturally how a Vulcan woman would look, but either way, you don't have to know more than the average person knows when he looks at the subject. In fact, one time I, um, I had a partner for illustration purposes in which I drew Tepring and he did the inking and he asked me, where does her cheek end and where where does the hair start but 
because our reference photo was such, it was not possible to see the exact border between her cheek and the hair. So I, I answered honestly, I don't know. Just keep that detail blurry. And he didn't accept that. He said, how can you as an artist not know where her cheek ends? I don't know anything more than what I see. And I try uh, using my limited abilities to depict what I see. If there's something behind that that I can't see, I don't think it's my role as an artist to show it. Now what you see here is that I'm not doing a lot of blending. Um, since the undercoat of uh, Sahara Desert paint was already dry when I started, um, there's just not a lot of blending going on. I paint the shadows. I also paint the highlights. I try not to overdo that. And as the painting progresses, just by looking at the reference photo, I'm able to get it to be quite a bit closer to the original with every step that I take. Now, one of the funny things about the story in Amok Time, which was an episode in the original Star Trek, is that on the planet Vulcan, which is supposed to be a planet full of pacifists, um, when Spock goes to get married, his fiance issues a challenge and she wants Kirk and Spock to fight to the death, which is rather ironic, but uh, in retrospect, I think that we know that people who pretend to be pacifists are usually not. I wrote a filk song about Tepring many, many years ago. It's to the Learner and Low song, The Simple Joys of Maidenhood, and the words started like this. My Lord Serac, my Lord Serac, tis I to pring I'm all alone. My Lord Serac, my Lord Serac, I'm over here beneath this stone. Does it look like Tepring? I think it does. My painting was a quick study. I'm sure there are areas in which it could be improved, but if you follow my method, you too can paint Tepring. Mm -hmm.